What expensive purchase have you made that has paid for itself many times over because you saved money in the long run? Story 1. I have six acres of land with a fair amount of trees on it. I spent about 25k for a backhoe that has saved and will save me tons of backbreaking work. It's amazing the amount of stuff I can do that would take huge amounts of energy without the backhoe. Need a tree taken down and the stump removed? Give me an hour. Need a dead horse buried? True story. Give me about two hours. Need a 100 foot long trench dug for water or power? Give me an hour. Need a 15 foot deep hole dug for who knows what nefarious reason? Give me about two hours. Need to flip a car? Give me about two minutes. Plow something? Completely destroy your yard? Move that dirt? Drag something heavy? Unstick something stuck? It was a shoot ton of money for me, but incredible what I can do. Edit, this will probably never be read due to the amount of replies otherwise, but I didn't really think, other than maybe solar panels, that mine would be the most expensive. Really though, if you have any land that isn't just flat, boring farmland, you need a backhoe. Also, everyone with that kind of land knows they need a backhoe. Story 2. Stupidly expensive sleep aid pillows for a baby. Our other parent friends had gotten them and swore it helped their newborn sleep for hours at a time. What BS. You can't get babies to sleep. They're little balls of mental turmoil and sleep torture. But in pure exhaustion and despair, we paid over 110 pounds for this stupidly shaped, retreated pillow thing. I hated myself for even playing along, letting alone have a 1% slimmer of hope it would help. Sweet mother of frick, it worked! Day 1, kid slept 3 hours more than normal. That's 35 pounds per hour. Day 2, he slept for 4 hours. That's 7 in total, down to about $15 per hour, I mean pounds. Very soon, this retuted pillowy snake oil piece of middle-class branded snobby coot targeted yummy mummy advantage taking BS had paid for itself a million times over. It saved my marriage, my sanity, my health, my job. I freaking love you, sleepy head pillow. You extortionately expensive piece of cotton and fluff that's worth every freaking penny I paid. The penny dropped 157 points 11 hours ago, edited 6 hours ago. Oh, and an osprey backpack that the kid sits in. That mother has traveled the world with us and made our lives measurably happier. You can't push a pram up Ducking Mountain. Got a tracks across three continents. Story 3. A very expensive suit. This was the late 90s and I was 20 years old getting paid by the hour to do a glorified help desk work. I had dropped out of college a couple semesters in because I needed to work. A recruiter called me out of the blue saying they needed someone right away. Could I interview the next day? The employer was the largest privately held company in the US and they had a reputation for being a very conservative suit and tie operation. All I had was a poorly fitting sport coat I got when I worked at Circuit City. I called my father and he said to go to Nordstrom's. Explain the situation and they'll get one done for you. So that's what I did and $600 later, I'd emptied my bank account and was walking out the door with a new suit freshly altered that night. I did the interview and just hit it out of the park. They offered me $55,000 starting salary to do app support, which in the 90s was a crap ton of money for a guy going from making not a lot of money. Story 4. Decent coffee maker, espresso maker. I drink two double shots a day. That thing paid for itself within a month. I also don't need to leave the house. Making the espresso takes literally one minute, and quality, even with pre-ground coffee, is better than of non-cafe coffee from around the corner. Now the grinder is something I still have to justify for myself. As of yet, I'm too stubborn to pay a reasonable price for orders of magnitude better tasting coffee. Just to clarify, I didn't mean anything fancy. The espresso maker I bought was about 150 bucks at the time. It's not amazing, but like I said, it paid for itself and lets me stay at home, which as of now is more valuable than I could have foreseen. I will buy a grinder someday, but I'm not looking to buy one right now. My homemade coffee I just drink for the caffeine. And I have a lot of other stuff of higher priority that has to be paid for. Story 5. This one sounds extremely frivolous, but just hear me out. For my high school prom, I rented my dress from a popular designer rental company. So that was cheap, but I decided to splurge on a $98 pair of black heels. I worked for my money. Before then, I'd never fathomed spending so much on shoes, but when I saw them, they were the perfect any occasion nice heels. Matched literally anything. Could be dressed all the way up to prom level, 
but the height was reasonable enough to get away with a more professional look too. Let me tell you, when I slipped those bad boys on, my life was forever changed, and I learned an important lesson that has saved me hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars over the years since. Expensive heels are expensive because they are comfortable. I repeat, expensive heels are comfortable to wear. I danced all the way through prom in those four and a half inch beauties, and they remain in my closet, still regularly used at age 26. Story 6. Maybe not what you're looking for, but cloth diapers. My wife and I cloth diapered with our first childs and are using them again for our second. The initial investment was hefty. We spent just shy of $500 for about 30 diapers. However, we don't buy disposable items at all. I have conservatively said we would spend $100 a month on disposable food. We cloth diapered till my daughter was two and a half years old, so 30 months. That's roughly $3,000. So saving about $2,500. With our second child, there is no upfront cost since we still have the diapers, and he turns nine months old in two weeks. So another $900 saved. Now this isn't perfect. I understand the added cost of water and detergent, but in my opinion, that's negligible based on laundry for a four-person household anyways, when you figure bulk detergent and high-efficiency washers. My wife would also say the environmental impact of not throwing diapers into landfills. Story 7. Years ago, my wife and I had a Starbucks Verismo espresso machine. Each pod cost a dollar, and we'd use two each day. That's $4 per day, so we were spending upwards of $28 per week just on coffee. Still cheaper than Starbucks, but we grew tired of the pod trash and having to find the coffee pods that we liked, so we decided to purchase a Jura Ina Micro One coffee machine. It grinds and pressure brews coffee and espresso. We were able to reduce our costs from $4 per day to less than 20 cents per day, assuming $5 per pound coffee bought in bulk. The machine was $800, but it paid for itself in less than eight months. That was four years ago this month. We've saved over five grand in that time. Plus, no more pod trash, and we get to choose whatever coffee beans we want, rather than being limited to what was in the pods. Story 8. I live in Minnesota and am a single woman. One winter, I missed two shifts at work because my car wouldn't start, and I didn't have anyone who could jump it, and roadside assistance couldn't be there for hours. After that, I went out and spent a little over $100 on a portable car starter. It's a small black box that connects to the battery and jumps the car without needing someone else's car. This has saved me so much time and money. Also being a single girl who, at the time, worked at night, I didn't have to worry that some stranger stopping to help might have ulterior motives. I feel much safer and always keep it in my purse. Added bonus, I can charge my phone with it too. I've been singing its praises ever since. Story 9 when I moved back to my hometown over a year ago, I bought a 27-foot sailboat to live on because rent here is outrageous. Boats cost $4,500 to buy, and moorage at a decent marina is about $170 a month. Rent for a studio apartment is, or a one-bedroom here, is $900 to $1,300. Every month I save between six dollars and $1,100, so the boat paid for itself in four to nine months. Plus, I live in a sailboat down at the marina sounds so much better than I live in a van down by the river. You'll have plenty of time to live in a sailboat down at the marina when you're living in a van down by the river. Story 10. 23 years ago, I bought a used 1991 Toyota four-cylinder truck. Paid it off early, it's now 29 years old, and refuses to die. Good gas mileage, low insurance, I changed the oil myself. Heck yeah, I had an 85 pickup growing up, 22R engine, owned a 95 Tacoma for like 10 years, and sold it for almost 260 k Then a couple years ago, I picked up a 2001 Tacoma with 240,000 miles on it for $4,000. Put a couple grand into it for maintenance, and it became my daily driver while the nicer vehicle sits at home. 255 k on it now, and I kind of want to put a turbo on it. Freaking love those trucks. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video and have a wonderful day. Story 11. So years ago, when I started a warehouse job, I dropped about $170 on a pair of decent Red Wing boots. Everyone I worked with said it was ridiculous, but they would go through a pair of cheap boots a month. I still have my original pair, but I need to retire them. Came here to say this. 
spent ages 16 through 30 doing construction while wearing $30 Walmart boots, and I never had a pair that lasted more than a few months. My mom bought me a $200 pair of Red Wings for my birthday, and now I won't wear cheap boots. Ended up losing them to a football pup, but otherwise I'd still be using them today. Story 12. When my wife and I first started dating, she wanted to learn to cut hair and wanted a pair of scissors that cost 25 buckaroonies, which was a lot for us then. She offered that if I bought her the scissors, she'd cut my hair for free as long as we were together. She lied. After 25 years, she declared that she'd repaid me for the scissors and was going to stop cutting my hair. Still not a bad deal. 25 years of free haircuts? If you went every two weeks at $10 a visit, that's a $6,500 return on a $25 investment. Not bad. But was she still using the very same scissors? Story 13. A few years ago, I walked the Camino de Santiago, French Way, which is 800 kilometers. I had never been on such a long hike before, but on shorter trips, I always had trouble with my feet. I'd get terrible blisters on long days and lose toenails on mountain descents. I purchased, because my poopy insurance would not pay, services from a podiatrist before going on the Camino. I learned a lot about maintaining my feet, and I had no trouble on the Camino and have not had any blisters or lost nails since then. I essentially paid the podiatrist for a lesson in foot care. Story 14. Kenmore washer and dryer purchased new from Sears in 1998. They're still going strong, and I guarantee when they do kick the bucket, the new washer and dryer I'll have to get from Lowe's will be lucky to last 10 years. My wife and I have been sorting pictures. We found one of my grandson's first day home from the hospital. Our tan Maytag washer dryer is in the back of the photo, just delivered days earlier. The same Maytag is still working daily. It does at least a load a day. She just needs a belt every three years. Story 15. Quality cold weather gear. Not only does it work better and look better, I've had a couple jackets for over five years now that see heavy use. Meanwhile, I have a couple friends that basically buy and throw away cheap gear every season. Works like doo-doo, looks like doo-doo, ends up in a landfill, costs more in the long run. Lose, 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 lose. Always buy after Christmas. I've had good luck the third week of January. I think my top-of-the-line Eddie Bauer parka was about 75% off. Story 16. My boots. I was going through a pair of $120 boots every six months or so. I finally broke down and bought a pair of $400 boots from a local store. Not only do they clean and oil them monthly for free, they also restitch and resole them as needed. When they eventually do wear out to the point of no repair, I will be buying the exact same boots from them again. They are Red Wing Lager Max Soft Toe. Story 17. A stainless steel Rolex about 50 years ago. I haven't had to replace batteries like in a quartz watch. I haven't had to replace a watch because of heavy rain or getting pushed into the pool or ocean. It keeps perfect time so I haven't missed appointments, planes, or trains, and I don't have to remember to wind it up. And when the coronavirus gets me, I'm 70 years old, it will go on to my children, who will probably use it for another 50 years. Story 18. High Quality Tools I've been through so many poopy doopy tools, basically anything you can buy at the local OBI. It's all made in China and not worth anything. Older German or British tools are fantastic and will last a hundred years with some love. Funny enough, some of the best tools I've ever used came from garage sales or estate sales. They typically came from older people who've had them for years but no longer need them. And the best part is that they can be incredibly cheap. Story 19. Sewing Machine my mom bought her sewing machine at a yard sale for pretty cheap before I was born. She never did too much with it. Fast forward to now, I've put miles upon miles of stitching down with that thing, and I found the exact same machine at a thrift store for 8 bucks. I bought it for parts, since it's much dirtier and beat up on the outside than mine. Old cheap machines are the best. I don't trust newer machines. Story 20. My wife and I just bought a house. The guy we bought the place from suggests that the house itself is somewhat expensive to heat and keep warm. So the first thing I looked at was the attic, and sure enough, there's 7 inches of insulation when there should be like 16. We're going to blast a few inches of insulation in there, and probably save enough on oil to pay for it several times over throughout the life of the place. Story 21 I bought a $500 bicycle to use as my main transportation. 
500 doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're only making $8 an hour, it took some time to save up for it. With public transportation being $250 a ride, the bike paid for itself in about three months. I used that bike for about three years. I still have it, but I moved, so I can't use it for the same purposes. Story 22. Noise-blocking headphones have saved me money in lawyers from all the coworkers whose lives I would have ended. I bought those expensive Sony noise-canceling headphones after a lot of debating with myself. My work productivity is so much higher with them that they definitely paid for themselves. I work from home, but my toddler, wife, dogs, neighbors, construction, mailman, delivery guy, garbage trucks, lawnmowers, cars honking, all that little distracting stuff is gone. Story 23. I have a bike. Not even an expensive one, just a regular bike that I used to go to work every day. I've got a bike, you can ride it if you like, it's got a basket, a bell that rings, and lots of things that make it look good. I'd give it to you if I could, but I borrowed it. It's a half-hour ride, I no longer use public transportation or a car, so I save money on gas or metro tickets. Cycling an hour a day is enough to keep an okay shape, so I don't need to go to the gym. Best money I have ever spent. Story 24. Laser printers are expensive up front, but they will save you lots of money by no longer needing cartilages. I mean cartridges. Also, it is less wasteful because of it. Cartridges, not cartilages. You don't even have to cut off that nose of yours. It's a darn steal. Story 25. A really good water bottle and mug. Stainless steel and insulated. Not the most expensive purchase, but expensive for cups. It's so worth it. I have never had a Nalgene water bottle break or leak on me. The only reason I've had to purchase a new one is because I lost one or two moving houses. Story 26. High quality kettle. Technically, I didn't spend a lot of money on it, but my grandma did, and I got it when she passed away. By the look of the handles, it's probably 20 or 30 years old, but the actual kettle is still in better condition than the kettle I purchased five years ago. Story 27. New windows on our house. Replace the old single-pane metal-framed windows. It was like a waterfall of cold air coming off of them. And the noise from the street was obnoxious. Heating bill was cut in half. I wish my landlord would understand this. Story 28. Taking an Uber home when drunk, then back to your car when not drunk. Way cheaper than a DUI or manslaughter conviction. As someone who got hit by a drunk driver this year, you are my hero. Thank you for being safe and smart. Story 29. Electric hair clippers. 50 bucks. Haven't paid for a haircut in seven years. Yeah, this is a good one. Cheapest haircut and beard trim I can find is 25 plus dollars plus tip. I just shave it all off with a number one at home. Story 30. Costco executive membership. It pays for itself every year. They're literally paying me to shop there. Ah, yes, we definitely get that back every year. Very worth it for how much we spend there. Story 31. Hydraulic floss has helped me keep my teeth so much cleaner, saving so much on dental. I thought of a hydraulic press, and you were ripping out your teeth and putting it into the press. Story 32. Freaking rechargeable batteries. Xbox players save millions. Ah, heck yeah. We have a bank of AA rechargeable batteries for the four Xbox players in the house. Story 33. Overtone conditioner. Expensive stuff, but for 30 bucks, I've been able to keep my red ombre red for six months. Usually it fades in one or two. Story 34. Bidet. Not super expensive, but saves on toilet paper. I've used it for about a year, and I love it. Also, it feels really good on my gummeth. But in all seriousness, I personally do have a bidet, and I would never think of going back. To think that I used to just wipe with paper and smear it all over the place. It's like peanut butter in a shag carpet. Story 35. My home gym cost six years ago 1,200 euros. Costs in saved gym expenses? Six times 600 euros. Story 36. A reliable vehicle. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.